Dream was really forced to make up for the AP damage and he does blind the Akali which I think is a bit dangerous as you up against up against some, uh, someone like Yago where the Silas is definitely going to get locked in here as you just have so many wonderful ultimates and it is going to be relatively easy laning up against someone like the Akali. I mean, Ari is also a very viable option as you do have a lot of... Uh, Shenzhen, as, uh, ooh, there's an early hook. It's onto the tank and he gets charmed straight away. Knocked backwards and Invincible is dead. Oh, it's a desperate start there, and all the cost was an ignite from the side of BLG. The first blood goes. I'm sure that from that one, they're just picking up dub after dub after dub, but now Invincible, he might not be picking up a dub. Flash for flash, as he gets caught out, he doesn't have ultimate, and he is being taken out once more. One more auto attack will do it. He goes into zombie form, and will have nothing to do with it. So good regank in this top side does cost both top lanes their flashes. He's gonna be able to steal this. There is no vision on it. They have 50, it now. He's looking for it. He gets it. Stolen. it. stolen away. He's so over pushed right now with no backup. Yeah, he's probably dead. He does have flash. He does have cleanse, but he's not going to use either of them because he knows there was no reason for him to be there. He gets killed off there. Zero to three in kills in favor. And a uh... oh, nice myself hook. there very second. They're going to get the hook down. There's going to be the ultimate again. That's going to be on picking up that kill. Elf gets himself the lantern. And Joel, no shadow to steal. No assassin smites to come out. I will say, Shun did not have smites, so that would have been a uh, pretty easy kind of setup. Joel have gone from owning this lane to really struggling to where it is. Here we go. That's going to be a smite in. And Shadow yeah, getting he... fully engaged. And Connie gets splashed away. One more auto attack. And that's going to be enough damage to put him into the ground. And already we're seeing it. plates just means he's going to get his mythic so, so early on. And that's just a mortal shield bow for you in these team fights. And I don't know if Dream and Photic are able to deal with that when we do hit the later stage. That is a lot of gold going on. Elk right now coming into this one here. So now we see a 3v1 in this top side. Bin, how good are your hands? That's the question right now. Can you 1v3? He does have the ultimate. He's putting work down on the invincible. He flashes. He dashes. And there's the perfect execution going down onto him. They have I haven't taken him down Joe just yet. He does pop the W, gets the counter strike down, gets the lead He's strike off, the flash! But has he done enough to keep himself alive? Maybe get a trade back kill? No, it's only Shun. And in a 4v- A few seconds too late to the play. Unfortunately, Shun wasn't able to get his hands to help there. But Votic dead once again. Not having the flash available and being alone under tier 1 tower just means Elk taking- been especially against this Ophelios, who is just- Honestly, free hitting, and I gotta give massive props to Sean. Rushes the Black Cleaver, knows he can be a great in these towers, and no one is going to be able to stop him right now. Dream will finally look to answer, but yeah, I mean, the only reason he's answering is because at NIP, no, they can't fight. Yeah, this second Dragon Leaf is going to go into the hands of BLG, as I just think there's too much silent pressure from this uh, BLG composition. You see more and more pressure. They're getting the mid lane tier two, which just, it just opens up so much of the map. <sighs> Come in now, Shadow. Oh, oh, this is not the NIP d a debut he wanted. He misses there. Now already been on the backside looking for a counter strike. Everybody flashes away. Invincible is your tank. And even he is being left to be slaughtered right now. No way he can survive more than a couple of seconds. BLG still pushing forward, hunting. And a Over. I don't want to be a negative Nancy, but this game state is just so devastating for the side of NIP. We put them on that team time bomb. They have these mid out with this first game going into their hands, but BLG getting that stun onto on. A little follow-up for this the support Thresh. I mean, the Thresh, they're throwing everything at the wrong target right now. And Finn's not even here. Invincible. More like invisible right now, because he's been looking at the gray screen theme. We're looking at a pretty damn quick game, but without any real engage, Shadow doesn't have his ultimate, doesn't really have a way of getting to these fights. He just can't make anything happen. Yeah, your beefy top laner has died. End of the game just yet. There is a dragon available if uh, BLG so choose to take it. There is another hook. He's oh dead my again. god! Oh my god. Someone check his color settings because he's only seeing gray right now. Invincible zero and five. Not invincible, very invincible, as uh, he is uh, going to be taking another. No, they're beating, and again, still no way of engaging on this. BLG might look to try and end the game right here, right now. They again engage on the Thresh. I get it. You don't like the Warden. You don't like the Thresher, but he ha he's not your priority right now. An Elf flashing forward. He wants the end of the game, and he is going to get it. Him 
and BLG just rifling forward, knowing how strong they are. They're going to wait for the super minions to come in, but there's just nothing you can do here. Shadow on his new team looking around as everyone is alone and afraid. Nowhere for them to really go. And in 24 minutes, this game is done in a dominating fashion. Elk is just having the time of his life on this Aphelios as that blind pick, and that's the reason why Aphelios has been finding so much success in these games in the LPL. He is just such a good laner. Oh, with the, uh, with, alongside the Maokai, maybe even the Cassante, and straight away we already get pretty much everybody locked in, excuse me, as the Nautilus gets uh, brought in here for on, and he just looks the most comfortable on these hard engage hook champions, things that can just catch them out. And again, yes, the Annie has been exceptionally powerful in both mid and support throughout all of the regions, oh, but just wants the scuffle to move forward. Shadow is here, may look to try and fully engage onto this. Need to be very careful with how they want to try and approach this one here. Dream is the first Dream one to kind of move forward. On is just going to accept his fate. As you can see, he did a very valiant effort to move forward to make sure he was not getting caught out or getting the rest. We definitely see that working in the uh, favor of BLG for the series. Yeah, well, full on engage coming out here on the bot side. On did know that Shadow was there. Now he might be in a little bit of trouble. Insta cleanse, they bring the feathers back as well. Shadow doing a lot there. On needs to flash away, but the grab him is good. One more auto attack from Dro is just enough. And that was a very interesting he's setup. He's hovering around. I don't think he's going to be here in time as he watches the dragon fall into the hands of an IPS. He's going to force a he flash. A yep, he has a burning flash. Uh, is he? Not sure yet. Dude. It's almost like they have the information. They know what's going to happen, and they still kind of go, Asher, ah, sure, look, we'll go for it. Well, speaking of opting into something, Shadow without a flash, Shadow TV can make something. The all out goes out, as Dream is the next one to kind of come into this one here. You don't have your Gao in position, and that's a really, again, poor mistake coming out here from the BLG jungler. Time of it, really. As we wait to see now, 10 seconds till the next dragon spawns. It's only a thousand gold lead, and Elk gets caught again. I'm not quite sure what else can really happen here, apart from the rest of his team finally coming in. They will try and burst out. Fotic, Elk gets taken out first, though. You get out finally here with the Chaos Storm, but the resets coming out for Dream is he gets another move, and they're just dancing so perfectly with their health bars. It's a triple kill coming out for Dream, first as he's having a Dream Quadra kill for the Tristana and NIP. Served on a silver platter as this Herald gets dropped for Fotig as and he picks up all five plates and a dream coming out with a quadra kill at the second dragon. BLG, what are you doing? You he doesn't lose everything in this, but it's a 4,000 gold lead and I, look, they might be looking for a dive here. I don't agree that you could get a dive here because you don't have an ult ready at all, so they're going to look for something. Oh. oh, the whiff. Oh, oh, oh no. no. Oh, kitty. It Close hurts. your eyes. Oh, shit. It hurts. It hurts. Yagos here as well. Surely this is a kill for Yago. Surely they have the damage. They can tank this, right? They can't tank this. Yago uh, doesn't have the flag. He's uh, dead. Uh, what is happening, BLG? What are you on together? An elf dropped the tower aggro and it went on to Yago. Oh, that's another. I mean, it's just so difficult to deal with any of this engage, and you're just losing people left, right, and center. I mean, we were talking about it earlier. It's like, oh, we actually, fun fact, we actually, Shelly just gets to do her favorite thing in the world. Here we go. There's going to be a full on engage. Good flash. Shadow flashes again, trying to get away from this. But you have a Maokai with ultimate. So difficult to make that stick. He can just put down his ultimate, oh, make Bin. sure he can get away. But Bin's on the backside here. Speaking of on the backside, Invisible's looking for something. He actually gets away with the all out. Very nice. Hey, stream mispositions. He doesn't have the flash available anymore. That shield is definitely going to save him. As this dragon goes on the side lane against Invincible, he just needs to make sure he does not get caught after the fact. As you can see, there's the Maokai ultimate coming out here to try and catch out Yagao, and he will get caught out in the end of it all. There's the Glacial Prison coming out, though, and that's Shadow going down. Oh, Joe cool. was tanking turret for some reason, and now you can see the 280 carries we talked about having so much. Dream, one more auto attack, and all of a sudden the money's turning green. The numbers are going up for BLG. They knew they hadn't got any kind of real engage, so Fotik's in a lot of trouble. He's going to have to be forced to flash away. And oh, there's going to be one more auto attack. He finally gets him over with the dredge line, gets from the depths as well. And they're taking them down one by one, bit by bit. Is that Baron Kitty? That's Baron. Invincible checks the tab and his entire team is dead. And 
RIP going for that tower dive onto Yago, burning so much and even flashing forward. But you need to remember, you're up against the Zai and Victor, where you're just playing into their hands. And with all the abilities hitting, they just had no way out. Indeed, in the mid lane, so Yago definitely not having the best of times. Elk can be forced to cleanse away, does have the feathers to fly. Good ultimate there to stop anyone from really pushing forward. As I say that, Invincible looking to try and do it. They will trade back 80 carries, though. The turret doing significant work on this backside. A flash away from Shadow is not going to save you. Oh, no, Kitty. Oh, no. They must be a quarterback playing American football because they are... They're even burning the flash, but it doesn't matter. The Victor, the Zaya, and the Fjord, they're all online now with this Baron taking down these... In a minute or two with the way these fights are going because uh, they're picking up towers. They're picking up... on anyone except Dream. No real aggressive summoners either shadow is being shadowed and someone's after being caught out it's dream who lost his flash one more auto oh. attack flash hook and they're looking to try and secure him down the ignite is good enough it's on gets revenge and oh my lord nip second dragon going to the hands of blg this game is no longer because they're gonna have to deal with them i mean they're gonna look to try and make they're gonna try 4v5, but again, look at the kiting back. They can't do it. Shadow gets hooked up here. They drop down the gravity well to make sure they can catch out Invincible, who gets hooked up, stunned up, and cannot move for those remainder of the fight. Finn's like, oh, will I join you guys? Nah, you got this. I'm gonna go back to mid lane. Don't worry about it. And now Botic, though, feeling confident, pushing forward with the Infernum. Just Has got Ghost available. Goes he flash forward. He's gonna look for one. He's gonna look for another. Two kills over to Fotik. He is grabbing NIP by the scruff of their necks and Die, saying, "As they are just having denying so much vision from BLG." Oh, Shadow, not where you need to be. He flashes in, tries to get himself away, but he has been caught and killed. TP comes in from Invincible. He already wants to try and back himself away from the situation. Does not want anything to do with where this jungle and top lane of BLG are bringing him. Plenty of damage on the shun. Flash forward. Good the Dreadline does not land. Both are getting great use out of that Gale Force to keep himself alive. This time around, though, it lands onto Invincible, and that's going to be your tank going down. He's confirmed dead. Bojik doing decent work to make sure that Yagao can't move forward. That Tibbers talked about it. On back. And now we're going to see a bit of a reset. Don't forget, On had to go for a reset himself, but he's got the Hex Gates to maybe make something work. There's going to be the ultimate coming out there from the Maokai to see if he can keep this Baron down, secure it. Now will the fight happen afterwards? There's going to be a ghost used. The Glacial Prison just whips on the ankles of Shadow as now there's a little bit of a stone going down the bin. He just gets him deleted. Caught out and nowhere to go, but the Chaos Storm is decent. They're trying to let the feathers fly and everyone's trying to jump in. Dream, though, jumps a little bit too far forward. Has got the stopwatch and will have to use it almost immediately. There's going to be more movement going forward as they flash in. Yagao is now the target. He flashes away. No way really for Invincible to get over the wall. and They're going to have to try and reset this fight. Yagao does have TP should he need it. They're looking for him. They don't know exactly where he is. Three, two, no, not going to have it. There's going to be Invincible popping the ghost, and it's almost certain that Yagao is going to die here now. Probably should have TP'd out, got a little greedy with wanting to try and keep that summoner spell, but it's still Soul Point to BLG. Soul Point to BLG, but at what cost? Your solo laners die, and the Baron's going to the hands of NIP, where they come oh, back once. How many times have we said like this Sante? But there's going to be more fighting in the mid lane as they are looking to open up the base. I mean, this Baron buff is so powerful with a double AD carry composition. You can do so much with this. They'll break open the base with ease. No real defense to be coming out here from BLG. And they've got top lane pushing in as well. It's Two items for both the Victor and Fiora. Ooh, an ultimate from Shun. Not going to do too much. No, they're not going to get a lot out of that one. They're trying to put down damage on the photo because you can see not quite getting burst out. Gale Force forward means that the feathers must fly. And now Invincible is dead. Not as invincible as his namesake says, and Shadow dies as well. Double kill coming out here for Elk and the rest of their team. You don't really have a lot of... He now to back and respond to this Fiora as the dragon is going to be spawning in 45 and ace them. It might be game. Here we go. Dragon going down, secured by the side of NIP, but they're being pushed into like fish in a barrel. Bing going forward. They're trying to just soak up as much damage. Shun doing the exact same thing. The Chaos Storm is good. L flashes it. away. They're losing it a little bit. Dream goes forward. Immediately after the flash away, they're trying to get on the boat and he flashes back. And they've left Invincible alone. Can he get over the wall? He cannot. You gain the dragon, but you may have lost the Baron. He won the bottom lane as the Baron is on unavailable. So if BLG wants to delay this, I think Fiora can just back up. They have back. They have, and Shro's dead. That's two people dead now. You're in a 3v5. 
Shadow hasn't been able to find himself a, a safe space either, so he's going to get caught out. Fuzzix and now you can see Fotix, he looks for Yagao, but they've killed the jungler. Even if Yagao dies here, which he doesn't, they're going to be able to take the Baron. But Fotix keeps himself alive, but they've lost the Baron now. BLG. Getting instantly one shot where it makes it a 4v5. Now we see the 4 1 pressure coming out of BLG. Shadow using the ultimate. Yeah, they're looking to try and burn out Sean. He's very tanky, but not that tanky. The gravity well is good to try and disengage, so it's a one for none. Bin was trying to make something work towards having level 16 on their ultimates. Oh, there's going to be a catch on the Shadow. Oh, no. Shadow, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's not what you need to be doing. 35 seconds. This is a fit. Get that Hextech Soul and focus on the bottom lane now. It's just little small mistakes. NIP going from 3 and 8 maybe to 3 and 9. They threw everything at this game. They had it. Remember, how one it's gone. winnable if NIP plays with. Oh, it's gone. I mean, yeah. oh, this is so much damage with the six offensive items. Yagol needs to get out. However, he's out of position. The solo laners versus the world. BLG looking to try and make this one work, but the rest of their team shall not let them die in vain. Dream has to flash away. His elf doing so much here on the back 36%. Bonus attack speed. Baron's dead. Can they look for a fight? They're looking to try and push this one there using the Maokai ultimate, but Bin might be ending the game. They get Sean, who doesn't do anything less than he can. Sho is dead. Maokai is gone. The base is crumbling, and I feel like we've hit critical mass. Dream gets caught out. It's a triple kill for Elk to end it all, and Bin has been ending the game. A split pushing Fiora is a happy Fiora. Quadra kill actually coming out for Elk at the end of it all. But Penta? it is going to be the end. He wants the Penta. Elk is hunting for it. He doesn't have a flash. Invincible. Can he run he's away? He has slower. Ghost. He doesn't want it. He's so slow. He doesn't have Boots, Kitty. Oh, he's going to try and maybe give it to him. No. Ghost's away. No, and the, the game is over. over. BLG 2-0 NIP. They tried everything. But they are not able to make it happen. BLG come back in game number two. But my God, was it scrappy. It was so scrappy.